Hello and welcome to Peggy's Plants, coming to you from Central Florida. Today I'd like to take you along with me to Lowe's to check out the garden center and see what there is to see. I hear there's lots of clearance, so you know that's my favorite thing, so here we are. First thing I noticed was this LED grow house for $75. Never seen that before in here. And look at this nice pot of alocasia, very nice. I'm liking the pot as well, and it is from Live Trends. Uh, let's see how much it is. $25. Very nice, nice full pot. It used to be that um, you kind of had to follow Costa Farms Trending Tropicals to find all the so called hard to find plants and things like that. But now, as you can see, a lot of the other companies are in on the action. Look at this Amazonica absolutely beautiful and let's see who this is this is um, put out by urban jungle is the grower all of the pots which I'm loving oh my goodness look at this Diefenbachia and again in a cute little pot from live trends and $25 very nice I'm really loving the pots that Urban Jungle is um, putting these plants in. Of course, if you don't need the pot, I would definitely recommend, you know, going and finding these plants in a nursery pot. It would be a lot cheaper, but $14 for a nice gift for someone or to put on your office desk or at home. Very nice, and I think it's a great deal because you would easily expect to spend $10 for these pots alone. Look at this crocodile fern. Very nice. Again, Urban Jungle for $23. Very nice. So uh, some Syngonium. Let's see if there's anything else interesting over here that we don't always see. Look at this hanging pot of Manjula Pothos. Um, this plant is becoming more common in the big box stores, um, but you don't find it all the time. $17 for a nice hanging pot of Manjula Pothos. Very nice. I would grab this if I didn't already have one. And over here, this is a nice looking Diefenbachia. How much is this? This one is $13. See, not in the outer cash po, the decorative pot, much cheaper, but very nice, very nice. Is there anything else here that is not something that's typically here? We've got some Syngonium, Dracaena, a little bit of everything. These are the smaller plants that you can use in terrariums and things like that. And then some that are just a little larger. Here is a Hoya bilabata. And um, don't find Hoyas all the time. They're here every now and then. Um, you see a nice pot of Hoyas. That one is $20. And oh, look at this, Philodendron Brazil. This is a nice looking little plant very nice and you don't see it all the time again becoming more common and looking up here there's several pots of well lots many many pots of um, very nice monstera adansonii and fifteen dollars these are from nature's way moving on um yeah just a lot of a little of everything um today not a lot of things we don't see. I'm loving this display with the fountain though. Okay, moving on, I digress. Again, more of the pots from um, Urban Jungle, this Trio Star over here, nice size. Let's see, these are all $23, nice clay pots. Um, which brings us to my favorite part of Lowe's is the clearance section. Look at these fiddle leaf figs. Nice and big. Oh, wow. I would love to take this home, but I have no place for it. Normally $99 or $100. So this one would be 50% off. So that big fiddle, fiddle leaf fig would be $50. Lots of um, outdoor flowering plants. This is normally where I get mine. Most of my plants from my landscaping and stuff come from the clearance section. Look at these coleus. I love these ready to fill pots. You just drop them into a pot and you've got a nice seasonal display. 
mind you, all of these um, that we're looking at now are 50% off. So excellent deals on some plants, lots of outdoor stuff. And look at this, even some vegetables for people who have their vegetable gardens going. Um, my son is actually doing a vegetable garden. I have friends who are doing vegetable gardens. So, oh my goodness, look at the bromes. You know I love bromeliads. Yeah, I'm feeling like some of these need to go home with me today. And they are 50% off as well. Wow, lots of flowering plants. I don't um, do a lot of plants outside in terms of flowering plants and stuff, but you know I love my bromeliads. I count on them for color in my garden. I lost a lot of them when I left, um, moved from my house in the Keys. So at 50% off, and look at these Costa Farm Trending Tropicals plants. These are all 50% off. So you get the ceramic pot and the hard to find plant for $10. More vegetables. Lots and lots and lots of flowering outdoor plants. Don't know the name of because, you know, it's just not really my thing. Some roses, lots of knockout roses. And these are 50% off as well. Over here we have some Monstera Deliciosas, nice size. Wow, 50% off. Excellent. Nice fenestration on these. Very nice. And again, lots and lots of vegetables. The tag says this is pigeon red kale. Never even heard of it, but it's actually a very attractive plant. I love the red and the green, but um, it would be a great time to start a garden. Some anthuriums, a big pot of anthurium, usually $35, including the pot. Nice arrangement, $17.50. It's 50% off. There's several of those as well. Look at these air plants with the little squirrels. This is really cute. Um, if you had a friend that is really into air plants or something, or you want a little something on your desk, this would be really cute. I don't know that I'd pay $8 for it, but for $4, yeah, I'd go for it. And let's see what we have over here. More anthurium, um, more bromeliads. Out of the clearance section, these cyclamen are so pretty. I love the foliage on these. They're only $6.48 and the flowers are so pretty. I've done these before and yeah, it was, I didn't do well with these. For some reason, I could not keep this plant alive. So I won't get these. I see them on clearance a lot. I don't pick them up because they're just pretty and I don't want to kill them. So I'll leave them for the people who know what to do with them. Moving on, some birds of paradise. Let's see, here's some snake plants. The price of snake plants, like a lot of plants, have just been all over the map. Let's see, these are $17, not bad. They're a nice size, but I think you could probably beat it. Lots of hanging pots of pothos. These marble queens are beautiful. Look back here. This is a jungle cactus. I love these. I have a few of them, uh, different varieties. I just leave them outside year round. They bloom and everything. Very easy growing plant and definitely not something you see every day in the big box stores. Um, very nice. Lots of hanging pots. Here we go. Um, several hanging pots of skindapsis. Love a good skindapsis. These look like Argraeus, I believe. And um, mm, lots in the pot. I'm loving my skindapsis lately. And um, I had a little learning curve with them, but now we're on the same page and I absolutely love these. Believe it or not, I managed to maintain some self-control, but I did buy some things. This is what I bought. Of course, I picked up some bromeliads. If you've been following me for any time, you know I love my bromeliads. And these are usually $15 a piece, and I was able to get them for $7 each. I don't think I've ever purchased, you know, really nice bromeliads on clearance before. I mean, these are in perfect condition. There's nothing wrong with them at all. So I have these for right now. They're just sitting in this pot. 
But what my intention is, is to add them to the bromeliads that I mounted on a tree in my front yard. I don't know if I'll add them to this same tree or if I will mount them on another, but I'm really loving the look of this. They attach nicely and I want to add some more varieties to, you know, add some different colors. So I was very happy to pick up those brooms. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.